Hello everyone and welcome to another TikTok Ads tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to install the TikTok Pixel with Google Tag Manager. Before we get started, make sure you like the video, you subscribe to the channel, it helps tremendously to create new content, so thank you very much in advance. And let's get started. Step number one, you are going to log in to your TikTok Ads Manager, ads.tiktok.com. You're going to click on tools and you're going to navigate to events. Now, once we come here to the events manager on TikTok, or you can click the link to come straight here to this place in the video description. Once you come here, there are two scenarios. Either you are just starting out, you don't have a pixel, or you already have a pixel. If you are starting out, you're going to click connect data source here you are going to select web assuming that you want to install the tiktok pixel on a website you are going to click next you are going to insert your url for example test.com this is going to be your domain name your homepage. you're going to click next now we're going to go for the manual setup because it is easier and it will also allow us to be in control of all the necessary settings we're going to click on manual setup, click next. We are going to say TikTok pixel, the middle option. We're going to click on next. We're going to name our pixel. For example, this is going to be our test pixel. We're going to create it. Once we create it, we're going to click and copy the tracking code. Then you're going to click next. My recommendation is to enable automatic advanced matching to give more data to your TikTok pixel to optimize your campaigns better. And we are going to skip the event setup at this stage. We don't need now to go into setting up events with a TikTok pixel. We're going to do another video for that. And lastly, we are going to come here to the verification. Now I'm going to stay in this screen and I'm going to go to the Google Tag Manager. So now we copied the base code, remember, at this step, we copy the base code. We can go to our Google Tag Manager, access the container. We're going to create a new tag. Let's name it TikTok Pixel. We're going to click on Tag Configuration. Now we're going to select Custom HTML, paste the tracking code in here. Then we're going to click on Triggering, select All Pages, and add it. So that's our configuration in Google Tag Manager. We paste the tracking code here. We say this is going to go to all pages. We save. And don't forget with Tag Manager, we need to submit and also publish our container in order to send the changes live. Now, once you do this, then you can also verify whether the installation is correct. The easiest way is by using the TikTok Pixel Helper plugin, right? So this plugin, you can add it to your Google Chrome. You can go to your website. You can click here on the right hand side, enable the TikTok Pixel Helper, and then the system will say there is one pixel found on the website. Now, what about, let's say, those of you who already have a pixel. So somebody created the, the pixel before. In this case, what you need to do is follow exactly the, the same steps to begin with, meaning you go to your TikTok events manager, you go to your data sources. Now here in your data sources, you're going to find your pixel. This is the test pixel we just created. This is the pixel that is installed in the site. You are going to click on the pixel and here we are going to go to settings. This process, by the way, helps even if, let's say, you forget where is the tracking code or you want to install this pixel on a different site. You're going to click, you're going to come to settings, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see here view base code. You're going to click on it. You're going to copy the code and the Google Tag Manager steps are always the same. Now, can you install this pixel without Google Tag Manager straight in the source code of your website? You can. My recommendation, however, is to make sure that you always install these type of pixels through Google Tag Manager to keep organized 
and to also be aware of what is happening behind the scenes in your website. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and have a great day in any time zone.